Hey loves, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. It is the Monday after the Super Bowl. I went to work today. I went to the gym today. I literally just finished. I'm sitting here in my sweaty gym clothes because I want to do this video all about my favorite Super Bowl commercials of 2020 and as a prison wife, and this is a channel that supports prison wives, family members, and anybody who wants to learn about prison and those supporting people who are incarcerated, there was a commercial among my favorites that was so close to my heart and it touched me so much that I literally picked up the phone and sent my incarcerated husband an email in the middle of a Super Bowl party that I was hosting at my house because it touched me so much and his response was, that was my favorite part of the Super Bowl. Hands down, the end, it made the game for me. So if you're interested in my favorite commercials of the Super Bowl of 2020 and also the best part of the Super Bowl for a prison wife and her husband who is serving an unfair life sentence 20 years in, please keep watching. If you are new here, hello, my name is Ro. I am so happy you stumbled upon this video, although I'm a little embarrassed because fresh faced, usually I have my lashes on, I have my contour going. I have my lips all overlined. My hair is done, but that's okay. We are fresh. We're real. We're raw. You get me. Just me representing plain and beautiful me. No Makeup Monday. So I am the author of a book called The Comeback Code. I am the founder of a nonprofit organization called Strong Prison Wives and Families. I've been coaching prison wives and family members while sharing my own personal story since 2009. We do not glorify or glamorize prison, prison life, or prison wife life here. There is absolutely nothing fun or cool about it, but I will show you how to make the best of it while you're stuck doing time with your loved one while they're inside. So if you like what you see and you want to see more of my crazy ways or this pretty little face, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you like my content. And then also you can ring that little notification bell so you never miss when I post a video every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and especially when we go live because those aren't really scheduled and I will go live a I attempt to go live once a week on the days in between, but that doesn't always happen. So it's really good to ring that notification bell and click all out of the drop down of the preferences so you do get a notification when I go live. Surprise! Before we get started, I just want to shout out one of our amazing subscribers, one of our Strong Prison Wives and Families members who has a company that does all natural products. I finally got a chance to test out this body wash. She asked me if I preferred body wash or lotion. I said I love body washes. So she sent me this. And then in addition to that, she sent me this natural lip balm. Their products are all natural. It's called Dream and Water. She sent me the Ginger and Amber body wash. I just used it yesterday for the first time and then I used it again this morning because it smells so good. You could smell the ginger in there. It has kind of like a natural musky scent, but I don't like musky scents. So it's not a bad musky scent. It's just, you could tell it's a natural product. You could tell there are really good natural ingredients in here and it made my skin feel really clean, really good, but not that dry clean. So I love this. I think it's amazing. You could check her out at dreamandwater.com. I don't know if the camera's going to focus on there. If I put it in front of my face, maybe it will. Dreamandwater.com. This is strawberry sorbet lip balm. Oh, it genuinely smells identical to strawberry sorbet. It's really cute. It's very pretty. I already have lip gloss on, so let's just put this on my hand. It's a really nice chapsticky feel, but not too, not sticky, not harsh or hard. It says apply daily as, me as needed. This is made with beeswax, coconut oil, cocoa butter, sweet almond oil, and mica flavor oil. So all good stuff, which is amazing for me because anybody that went to the prisoner family conference with me was teasing me and making fun of me because in, in a loving sisterly way, because I have this tube of it's non-petroleum. It's supposed to be like Vaseline, but it's not Vaseline. It's not petroleum. It's actually called un-petroleum in this big orange tube because they don't sell it in any 
anything smaller and I just always take it out of my bag and I'm a nervous lip glosser. So they will be so happy that I have something that actually looks normal now and I don't have to carry around that big tube. So there's that. Thank you so much for sending that, sweetheart. And for you guys that are interested, check out Dream and Water dot com and support a fellow subscriber in prison life. Again, my address is always in the description box below. If you want to send me anything, I would be so grateful and I'll be more than happy to do honest reviews of your products. No problem. So let's get into my favorite commercials of the Super Bowl and then Adam's favorite commercial. My number one commercial, I think aside from the final one that we're saving that is kind of a little bit more serious my favorite funny commercial was the Hyundai Sonata Smart Park or Smart Pack <laughs> Smart Park commercial that was a playoff on the Boston accent I thought it was freaking hysterical look who's got Smart Pack Smart <laughs> Pack that's amazing I loved it and then a couple minutes later I ran into the kitchen because I was hosting the Super Bowl party and my sisters came over so three of my sisters came over one of their boyfriends and then two of them brought their dogs so I was running back and forth between the kitchen and the TV room just entertaining and after that commercial came on I ran into the kitchen to get something and my sister said something and it was it was actually very intelligent something that she said and I was like oh my god you're so smart and everybody started laughing so hard so that is like every Boston movie parody thrown together into one hilarious commercial Boston movie comedy parody I should say thrown together in one hilarious commercial, like shout out to Ben Affleck and Matt Damon and all those really amazing people up from Boston. One of my favorite movies ever, by the way, is called The Town with Ben Affleck. And I can't tell you how many people have asked Adam if that movie was about his case. People to this day, like there was a inmate.com rumor inside that the movie The Town is about Adam. And I think it's more because Adam looks very similar to Ben Affleck, not because his case is similar to the case in the town. Adam's not a bank robber, just side note, but I think that's hysterical. Great movie though, either way. So my second favorite commercial, actually these aren't really much in order, but they're in the order that they came on TV. I was taking notes in my phone because a YouTuber's life is all about finding content for YouTube in real life. It's kind of crazy, kind of scary, kind of awesome. As that first commercial, the Smart Cart Smart Pack came on, now I have to say it like that every single time, and I am not making fun by any means. If you are from the New England area and have that accent, I think you're freaking awesome. Listen to this Jersey drawl, and I'm originally from Long Island, so you can, that's this. So I don't make fun of accents, I adore it. So anyway, this one is number two in chronological order of when they came out on after the smart perk one. I was like, oh my God, I need to put this in my phone. We need to talk about this on a video. So this one is chip on your shoulder and it was for Cure Insurance. And let's play it. Do you have a chip on your shoulder? It's not about me, Tommy. You have a chip. <laughs> oh. So good because that is so me. Like, I don't have a chip. I'm not the one with a chip on my shoulder. He's doing it to me hysterical. I was, I am such a dork. You guys could see it. I am a sucker for a pun, a play on words, something, a riddle, anything like that. I take after my father. He was always like that. He always did riddles with us when we were little. So that's like a little punny, funny joke, which I love. The next one is the Bud Light Up ad with Bud Light Up Seltzer or something like that with Post Malone. First of all, my sister and I were both, we drank a little bit of wine. And at that point I was like, ew, Bud Light and Seltzer together. Her boyfriend was drinking like a White Claw, is that what it's called? I'm so old. But he's like, no, 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 it's like this. It's a pre-mixed vodka drink. They are not mixing Bud Light and Seltzer. <laughs> Duh. So let's watch the commercial. I thought it was great. So you got Bud Light. Very clear. Why not try something new? <laughs> Bud Light. So good. Okay, the next one is, oh my god. I want to say my favorite, but they're all my favorite. This one was the Cool Ranch, Cool Ranch, Cool Ranch Doritos. Cool Ranch Doritos Dance. Say that 10 times fast. With Little Nas and Sam Elliott. So let's play that. I said Little Nas. I'm such a white girl. Ew. Okay. So good. <laughs> New Doritos Cool Mic drop. Yes. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to play the 
whole next one, but it was a little bit more serious. Don't worry, there's funny ones coming after this, but this one is the typical Americans ad or commercial by Budweiser. I didn't know who did this commercial, but everybody in the room were just like, this is so good, this is so good, this is so good. And then at the end they said it was Budweiser. I was like, you killed it. You killed it, Budweiser, with this one. They call us typical Americans. Maybe because we live typical American lives. Like this typical American. Showing off a strength. So typical. Uh, look at him. Touching other people's things. Do you see my chill? Removing their clothes in public. Yes. Chills. Like chills. Thinking it can save the world. That is a total mic drop moment. You killed it, Budweiser. You just gave me chills for the second time that I'm seeing that commercial. Yes, nailed it. And it's so interesting to me who's going to do a serious commercial, who's going to do a funny commercial, where they're going to nail it. And this one went with serious and they nailed it. They, well, I want to say they hit it out of the park, but that is so not a football analogy. So there was that. They, what? Touchdown. They they landed a touchdown. Whoa, I am not the girl. We did facials at my Super Bowl party. So on the biggest broest day of the year, you had a whole bunch of girls doing facials and face masks. So yeah, there's that. One of my coworkers was like, oh, that's so cute. Did you have somebody come paint them on for the kids? I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm not talking about face painting where they did like a number or a helmet. I'm talking like full blown beauty salon spa in my living room for such girls. That's what happens when you have Four sisters, that's what my tattoo means if anybody doesn't know. We're like all over the place on this video. We got a product review, we've got Super Bowl commercials review, reviews, and now I'm outing my tattoo. So I have four sisters, there's five girls in the family, so we all have a five-pointed star. Now you know. I was entertaining, so I was in and out, of course, during commercials, during the game. I really didn't even pay much attention to the game, so I missed a lot of them. But I did go back on YouTube today, and I, I was just re doing research to see if I could find these commercials, and I found a lot of compilations of people's favorite commercials, and every single one of these was in there. But then there were a few other ones that I didn't see, so I didn't think it was right to add them in, but they had some great commercials this year. So the next one is so genius. It was the Groundhog's Day commercial with Bill Murray for Jeep. And when they were playing it, I'm like, oh my God, today is Groundhog's Day. How crazy. Because I spent the day, I woke up, I went to the gym, I went to the produce market. I was not going near the grocery store. I went to Walgreens and then the rest of the day I cooked and I cleaned and I got ready to host. So I had no clue. And during this commercial, I'm like, oh, did the groundhog see their shadow or not? And we're not gonna have six more weeks of winter, thank God. Supposedly, we're gonna have an early spring. I hope I'm right, that's what my sister told me. I'm going off of her word. I might be spreading fake news, considering today is February 3rd in New Jersey and it was 55 degrees. Maybe that groundhog was right. Thank you, Puxatawney Phil. Anyways, total tangent, let's play this commercial. It was a reenactment of Groundhog's Day. On Groundhog's Day, go Jeep, you're genius, and Bill Murray killed it. You killed it, Jeep. You nailed it. The, hands down, that was one of the best commercials of the Super Bowl. Okay, so this last one can be controversial. I, this is not political whatsoever. This was Adam's favorite, not only commercial of the Super Bowl, he said it made the Super Bowl. Hands down, it made it worth watching for him. During this commercial, which was the commercial with Alice Marie Johnson in it, Alice Marie Johnson was sentenced to life in prison for a non-violent drug offense. Kim Kardashian was made aware of her case. I believe it was 2016 maybe. Got her lawyers, Kim Kardashian got her personal lawyers involved, went to go visit President Trump on her own in person, pled Alice's case with her attorney who explained all the legalities behind it to Trump. She had Ivanka involved, she had Jared Kushner involved, and eventually President Trump granted Alice Marie Johnson clemency. Ah, amazing, wonderful. I did a whole review on Alice 
Miss Alice, we all call her, on Miss Alice's book. I will link that in the cards up above. Great book if you are into criminal justice reform, if you want to learn more about it, or if you just need a, an autobiography. Great, 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 amazing, amazing story. You do not have to be into politics whatsoever, criminal justice reform whatsoever, to get something out of this wonderful book. But if you are, it's just a cherry on top. It's icing on the cake. So everybody in the room with me was like, oh, politics, a political commercial. No, it, that's not how I took it. I got so personally offended. I was like, stop. I was like, it's Miss Alice. Stop. So I just wanted to say that because it is a commercial for the presidency. But don't look at it like that. Just if, it, please, this is not me telling you guys where I sway, who I vote for. It's not 100%. I will never, ever talk about that on my channel because we don't do politics here, okay? We talk about prison. We talk about criminal justice reform. I will tell you maybe what each candidate's feelings are on criminal justice reform, but it is up to you to do your own research and to make your own decisions. That said, let's play Miss Alice's commercial. Already have chills. I'm free to hug my family. I cry every I'm time I see this. start over. This is the greatest day of my life. My heart is just bursting with gratitude. I want to thank President Donald John Trump. Woo! Woo! Thank you. Thank you. I'm Donald Trump, and I approve this message. That said, President Trump, please, please, please do more clemencies for people who are unfairly sentenced to life, just like Miss Alice Marie Johnson. There are so many of us out here suffering because our loved ones are in there rotting, just like Miss Alice was before you expressed mercy and you gave her clemency, please, 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 if somehow you stumble across this video or if somebody points you to it, please help free Adam Clausen and other people who were sentenced as nonviolent offenders to life without the possibility, without the possibility, I'm getting all for clumped and tongue tied, without the, fo the possibility. Well, they will be fossils if we don't help them out. So can you help them out? <laughs> without the possibility of parole in federal prison due to out dated misapplied law. The end. Okay. I would love to know your favorite Super Bowl, Super Bowl. <laughs> this is a mess. <laughs> I have to put them in here. I don't even have time to add these bloopers at the end. So enjoy while we're watching this. You guys let me know in the comments below, what was your favorite commercial of the Super Bowl 2020? Did I get it? Were there or some that I missed. Let me know if I missed them. Just let me know what it was about and what the brand was. And they're very easily searchable on YouTube. And let me know also what you think about me knocking over my water bottle. No. Let me know what you guys think about the Alice Marie Johnson commercial and the ones that I posted in here. You guys keep staying strong, keep loving strong, keep supporting one another through this journey because you're one day closer to it all being behind you. Lots of love from my heart and Adam's heart to all of yours. We'll see you beautiful ladies and gentlemen in the next one. Bye guys.